Live from Safe Fighters in Brooklyn, New York, it's two minutes to late night! Two minutes to late night, and we're gonna keep doing this until someone beats the shit out of us. Yeah! Who are you? Get the fuck off my stage. <laughs> I'm your host, Guarsenio Hall, and if you're watching this from YouTube or whatever the fuck they have in Portugal, please take a look at our live unpaid audience. <laughs> Fun fact, we actually had an audience at the first taping, but uh, we didn't have enough cameras. Now we have too many cameras! Yeah! Oh! So don't use the men's room if you're shy! Fair point. <laughs> Folks, this is our second official episode, so we have a lot to live up to. That's why we have the ashes of our grandparents here to bring us honor and good luck. And we're gonna need it, because we're all a little nervous. Hey, guys, watch me eat this fucking hell. <laughs> oh, God, Ned and people! <laughs> Check it out, boss. Any of this, a crunch berry under the desk. Nope, that's Nana's glass eye. All right, guys, we got a great show for you tonight. Debbie Harry and John Baisley are here. Yeah! <laughs> But first, let's check in with everyone's hey, favorite Ricky weather. Hey, Ricky Ricardo, check it out. Where's Danzig with the weather? <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we're here live in front of Glenn Danzig's house. A macabre ranch-style home, probably built in hey, the late... Well, are, you, are you okay, bud? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, Arsenio. I've been out here for days. Maybe. It's hard to keep track of time when you're afraid you'll miss spotting Glenn Danzig. <laughs> Do you want us to bring you some food, bro? No need. Uh, I've been eating Danzig's trash. Uh, it's mostly fishnets and 90s manga, but I did find an uncooked bagel bite. All right, so. hey, but you don't have to do any of that, all right? Just tell us what the weather is at Danzig's house. Oh. 76 degrees. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Folks, I can't stress how important our next guest has been to music and culture. Guys, give it up for Debbie Harry! Hey, hey, hey! Woo! What are you boys doing? What's going on? Shit, uh, nothing, 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 Dad! I smell what beer! What the hell is oh, happening? Fuck it, oh, gee, it's fucking Mutoid Dad. You should get some sleeves on, you must be chilling. What the fuck is Mutoid Dad? Mutoid Dad, he's all of our dads. Yeah, Mutoid Dad, I came to, Hang on, my boys. What are you guys doing? Some jamming? Some no. what is that? Was that a tuna? Hey, sir, uh, <laughs> we're shooting an episode of our show. That's why there's cameras and. Well, people. I think there's still time to jam with your old man. What do you say? Get the family band back together? No, Dad, just leave. Hey, show some respect, boys. Hey, listen, we're not mutoid boys anymore. We're fucking mutoid men. Well, mutoid men. <laughs> Whatever. You'll always be. Boys, my boys. I don't care if you look a lot more like your mom's tennis instructor, Nigel. I'm so proud of you. What is the uh, fire up that riff I taught you? Come on. Ready? Yeah, come on. All right. All right, Let's I guess I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> Right now, buddy, Debbie's been gone for 11 years and she's not coming back. Dude, just get the fuck off the stage. Fine, it's not like Judge Joe Brown's gonna watch itself, you anus. <laughs> I never loved you. 
<laughs> okay, uh, folks, our second guest has a beard like a Brillo pad, a voice like a dirt bike full of rocks, and a music catalog littered with songs that have made me cry in the J train three times. From Baroness, Grammy Award nominee, John Baisley. <laughs> John, thanks for sitting on the couch with me. You're too talented to be here. What's it like to be nominated for a Grammy? Pretty surreal, honestly. Yeah. Why don't you ask this, Will this, Smith? This, 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 this is the first interview I've done since since we lost, so I feel like we're gonna talk about Megadeth, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, the second question is, uh, what's it like to lose a Grammy? <laughs> it's kind of bullshit, I think. Is bullshit? Is it the real bullshit? Well, we should have won, right? Do you think, Gojira's well, record was pretty good, too. Eh, the French, they don't deserve to win. Um, <laughs> Speaking of Dave Mustaine, what's it like to be best friends with Metallica? Well, it was good to hear their song played when he was walking down the aisle to receive <laughs> <laughs> All right, but d dude, honestly, you've been interviewed a thousand times. We're gonna go through a list of generic music interview questions, and you're gonna tell me on a scale of one to 10 how much you hate the question. 10 being the worst. 10 being the Lars. <laughs> you know what? Van Halen Dumbchucks. Go get him. All right, question one. How has your sound evolved? I'll put that at an eight. Eight? Yeah, there's a, eight? There, there, because there are worse questions than that. Okay. That, that one, you, you, when somebody asks you that, you can actually talk about something legitimate that you've just done or recorded or released. All right, second question. What's your favorite piece of gear? I don't mind that question. I like talking about gear. Yeah, so yeah. one? That's a one, yeah. Third question. What bands have influenced you? That's the worst. That's a 10. That ten? is absolutely a 10, yeah. Why is that a 10? Because they, you know, any journalist asks every band, you know, has to answer that question. And there's like a, take my phone away. That's a welcome ten. back. That's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> and take a nap. Don't tell me what to do. Good night. Good night, princess. <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island, what albums would you bring? Yeah, that's a ten. That's a ten. That's, that's, a, a, that's as bad as the influence. If you were a hot dog and you were stranded on a desert island, would you eat yourself? Would can you? He, can he Come go on, back to sleep? would you? Go back to sleep. And final question: If you were stranded on a desert island, uh, do you think you'll ever forgive the bus? Oh yeah, that. There's a ten. <laughs> there's a yeah. <laughs> Look, I, John, I'm. I'm sorry. Know that everyone on this show genuinely respects your talent. And if it were up to us, you would have won the Grammy. So please, uh, will you accept this consolation prize of a bouquet of daffodils or some shit? Well, this is sweet. This is, thank you. Yeah, I of really course. really appreciate this. We care, man. Wait, this has Megadeth on it. God fucking damn it! What is up with you guys? No, John, wait, hold on. Uh, guys, hang on uh, just a second. I'm gonna uh, stop John from marching into the sea. <laughs> What's up, fuckheads? This is Hod Melissa. I'm here with Two Minutes to Late Night. I'm interviewing this fucking band, Foxygen. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Get the fuck out of the shot. It's wicked disrespectful. Who the fuck is that? The new album is called Hang, which is appropriate because it makes me want to hang myself. Anyone who knows me knows I don't take any fucking shit, okay? Anybody knows that. You can ask literally any single person, they fucking know that. So when I was told to interview these schmeckheads, I knew that I wanted to get the fucking truth. So I went to their YouTube comments so we could cut the shit and find out what this fucking band is all about. Not that I fucking care. Nobody asked me if I care, I don't care. But we're gonna do it anyway. Hello. Hello. My first question is, what the fuck is this shit? Well, yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of, that's what like the, oh, it's, it's interpretive, it's an interpretive piece. Excuse me? It's, it's, uh, it's abstract. It's interpretive art. The fuck does that mean? What do you see here in this picture? Um, well, that's a flamingo, and, uh... Don't be cute. That's a flamingo. It's not, it's this not... is the ocean. And this is, uh... It's fire up that's there. That's fire. 
Well, what is this a roar shock or something? Because I very clearly see my father dead in the backyard. It's a it's a painting. So Sam, why do people think you're a weird German woman? People think. Yeah. Like I. I look kind of like a weird German woman. Did it? Or something maybe? Probably. Yeah, it might be your face. So when you guys plan a music video, is it you or the director that decides that every moment should make someone want to slap or punch salmon in the mouth? I don't know, I don't really think that's what we're going for. Sam? I like my music videos, I think they're really good. So, do you guys work at Chipotle when you're not making bad music? Nope. No, why do you think we work at Chipotle? Uh, well, I thought maybe you had some sponsorship or something. Mm, nah, no, we don't have it. So any. you can't get me free Chipotle? Uh, we could get you free Chipotle. Definitely. Yeah, maybe he actually. We could definitely get you free Chipotle. That's probably easy. Why aren't you guys black? God, I ask myself the same question every day. My parents, uh... My parents, they're Jews. Are white. Yeah, my parents are Jews. Do you feel that maybe your song should be in French? Maybe if we sang in French. Um... Melissa would like our music. I don't know. I mean, uh, um, yeah. I like I like. Uh, what, what kind of music do you listen to? I don't Fucking know. Fucking hardcore. I like metal. You don't like hardcore. I like metal. No, you don't. I like metal. So I will say that your band name is kind of sick. Why do you think? <laughs> 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 so what happened? What happened? How did Foxygen get started? You mean? I don't know, just what happened? What happened? Um, I don't know, Rado, what happened? What happened? All right, well, that was Todd Melissa. Back to you, Guasenio Hall. Do you have like a lot of friends, Melissa? Obviously, yes, I do. I don't, what, are we still rolling? Yeah, I don't, I don't. Folks. Renting out St. Vitus and breaking everything isn't cheap. That's why we're trying out a brand new game show that doubles as ad time called Dark Tank. It's like Shark Tank meets Price is Right, but these sad entrepreneurs paid us to be here, and our contestants are gonna guess how much their weird crap costs. Take it away, Nick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 80s fitness icon, Thin Liz. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! All right. Conan, it's great to be back. Wrong show! Mm, Jack Parr? He's dead. All right, just let me plug my shit, okay? I got like 10 kids. Me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm here. With Thin Liz's patented at home workout. <laughs> this new series, Diet Riot, will have you back on the Randy Road to Fitness in no time. Rest in peace, Randy. I had sex with him and his wife one time. <laughs> These VHS tapes, there's eight tapes, and they'll show you moves like the downward facing cowgirl and the Romeo and the safety, ow, uh, safety zone. And the best part is that you can do them on drugs or pills. All right, dummies, how much you think this shit costs? 10.99. Uh, 9.99. The answer's five bucks, or free if you're gonna babysitter kids this Wednesday. Yeah, Eric, my son slash merch guy, is selling these out back uh, he looks like he's slow, but his eyes are just ruined in a trampoline accident. So All right, Liz, girl, shut, yeah. Yeah, Liz, just right, shut up. Don't let Liz shut play the fuck BB up. guns with All the All right, other ladies kids. and gentlemen, our next guest is hair metal icon, chef, and five-time public urination offender, Sammy Flavor! <laughs> Second. All right, what are you selling, asshole? I'm selling hot sauce. Got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. Sammy Flavor hot sauce. Who wants it? Well, uh, Jesus Christ, no. Oh, yeah. And you know what? 
You can bet this hot sauce can't drive. 55! <laughs> What's in it? The good stuff. Ambien. It's legal, baby! <laughs> and a little bit of blood. I was chopping up the peppers last night. I cut my finger and a little bit of blood got in there. I ran a little too close with the devil. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> All right, how much would you guys pay for hepatitis from a taquito? $138. <laughs> um, four installments of $19.99. Well, actually, we have no idea. This shit's not approved by the FDA. <laughs> Well, it's free if you give me a hug right now. Hey, there's no tomorrow. Come on. If I move even a little bit, I'm going to die. Come give me a hug. <laughs> Cabo Wabo is a real place, and I live there. <laughs> Holy shit. I still fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Van Hagar. Please welcome our next guest, black metal environmental activist and entrepreneur, Arboroth. Very cool, very cool. What's up, ghouls? I dig the vibe up here, groovy, maximally. Uh, this is the worst thing I volunteered for since I went to Iraq. Oh, right, okay, so uh, I have a product. I invented a thing called uh, tree napalm, okay? So basically, this is a thing that allows trees to finally fight back against the flesh monsters that you guys are. So these trees can actually now burn their attackers, kind of like my ancestors in Norway burned all those oppressive churches in the 90s. Dude, you're literally just trying to start forest fires. Actually, oh. Oh shit, no, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, I, I have an investment plan and all sorts of shit lined up, I fuck. Don't, I, I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> how much does the tree suicide cost? Like a lot. I would not pay for that product. Get the fuck off my stage. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Marty Friedman and you're watching Two Minutes to Late Night. Sorry I couldn't be there in person, uh, but uh, Guarcinio, he just wanted me to go over there and teach him a bunch of Japanese curse words. And I ain't flying all the way over there just for that. Kono kusayara! See you later, idiots. Folks, if you're like me, purple reminds you of three things. Forty! Die, Matab! <laughs> Our dearly departed prince, Baroness, and my bruises when my father gives me constructive criticism. Everybody here to perform Purple Rain, John Baisley from Baroness and Musehoid Man! Sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. Only wanted one time just to see you laughing.
was fucking awesome. Everybody, John Baisley, Musehoid Man, and Emily Lee! Hey, yo, check this out, man. I heard this is a show out called Two Minutes of Late Night. The fuck's the matter with you motherfuckers? They talk a lot about metal. None of you motherfuckers can play the drums, guitars. You ain't never been on a motherfucking stage, but you got so much to say about metal. Eat a motherfucking dick, bitch ass motherfuckers. Well, me and Body Counter in town, we're gonna find out where y'all broadcast from, and we're gonna show you some motherfucking metal. Yeah, some motherfucking leg coming out the end of my motherfucking gun, you piece of shit ass bitch motherfuckers. That's our show, everyone. Remember, if you want to see a third episode, send a cashier's check made out to Guarsenio Hall at... <laughs> Good night! We'll see you in church!